day to our pupils, my dear students, and to our dear parents. A blessed day to everyone. I am Teacher Renz Lasanas, and I'm here to give you a brief tutorial on how to navigate and access our learning management system, the National Christian Life College, Maranatha Christian Academy Learning Zone. So we can access, we can use our NMLC using different devices. You can use your desktop, your laptop, you can use your Android phone, your iPhone, and your tablet. So first, before I proceed to the step-by-step -step procedure on navigating and using our NMLC, what do you need to access the NMLC? So it's important that you have your own NMLC account. So I expect by this time you already receive your NMLC account, your username, your email, and your password. And if I were you, I will memorize my username, my email, and my password because that is important to navigate and to access the NMLC. So as I was saying, we have different ways to use our NMLC. So first, I would like to show you how to navigate and how to log in in our NMLC when you are using a desktop or a laptop. So let me show you. Thankfully, our NMLC is compatible with various web browsers. You can use Google Chrome, you can use Microsoft Edge, Opera, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, but personally, I use Brave. But today, I will show you how to navigate or how to access our NMLC when you have Google Chrome on your desktop or laptop. So, how to do it? So, first, of course, you have to click the Google Chrome. Now, I'm in the... Uh, Google inside the Google Chrome and then type in our website on the URL again what's our website it's learningzone.nclc-mca.edu.ph I repeat it's learningzone.nclc-mca.edu.ph that's it and then click enter now this is the landing page this is the interface of our NMLC and you can see on the right hand side of your screen the login button so click the login button and then type in your username or your email and your password okay type in your username i am student one so let me type student one and then my password That's it. You can now see your dashboard, your subjects, or your courses, and all the activities your teachers have prepared for you. Now, teacher, what if I have tried all the means to access my account in NMLC, but I could not enter? I have typed in the correct password, the correct username, the correct email, but I could not access my NMLC. What can I do? First, you can refresh your browser you can refresh you can, you can restart your device and then after that if you have already refreshed and restarted your device and your browser you can clear the cache how can i clear the cache when i'm using the desktop you can see on the right hand side of the screen the three dot click it and then click the settings so after you click that button you can see this on that page so you can find it here the clear browsing data Clear browsing data. Click this part and then you can see this message. And then choose this. Clear data. Click it. Once it's cleared, you can now try accessing the NMLC account. Next, how about if I am using a mobile phone? Okay, your smartphone. So there are two ways to use or to navigate the NMLC when you are using your mobile phone. The first one is using the web browser installed on your phone and the second one is the NMLC app. You can download the NMLC app from the Google Play Store. So for today, since I have Google Chrome installed in my phone, I will use and I will show you how to navigate the NMLC using the Google Chrome. So let's click the Google Chrome icon and then type our website it's learningzone.nclc-mca.edu.ph so click and then 
that's our landing page and on our landing page you can see three dots on the right hand side of your screen so click this these three dots as you can see and then you can see the login button click login and then type in your username or your email and your password again i am student one so i will type student one and my password Now, you can see your dashboard. You can now use the NMLC, answer the quizzes, answer the activities your teachers have prepared for you. Now, how about if you're going to use the NMLC app you have downloaded from the Google Play Store? So, click the icon, the NMLC app. So, after clicking the icon, you can see this. You have two options. You can see an I'm a learner and I'm an educator button. Of course, if you're a student, choose the I'm a learner. And then type in our website. Again, it's learningzone.nclc-mca.edu.ph. That's it. You can now enjoy our NMLC. How about for those students who use Apple products like iPhone or iPad? Can you use that to use our NMLC? Of course. You can use your iPhone or your iPad to navigate and access our NMLC. All you need to do is to click the Safari button because that is the browser for all the Apple products. Click the Safari button and then type in our website, the learningzone.nclc-mca.edu.ph. Once you're in on the landing page, log in using your username or your email and then your password. Once you're done with all this procedure, you can now enjoy and use our NMLC. And I hope you enjoy and understand our tutorial today. Thank you so much and God bless us all. Hello, NCLCians and MCAians. I hope you're all doing good. By the way, I am Teacher Paul, and join me as we navigate on our very own NMLC. Kaya kapag sinabi nating dashboard, ito yung nakikita natin after natin mag-login. At ang ating dashboards ay maraming features. So, i-introduce ko sa inyo yung iba't ibang features na makikita natin sa ating mga dashboards. On the upper left part, of course, you can see the name of our very own NMLC. Once you click this button, makikita natin ang navigation panel. Okay, sa loob ng navigation panel, makikita natin ang dashboard where once we click it, i-redirect -re tayo sa ating mga dashboards. Next, site home. Once we click it, Yan. It will bring us back to the homepage kung saan tayo naglalagin. Next, we also have the calendar. Diyan natin makikita lahat ng mga schedule activities na either ikaw ang naglagay o si teacher. Next is private files. Once we click it, dito ang submission ng mga files na pinapa-upload ni teacher from NMLC activities. Lastly, dito sa navigation panel natin is my course. Wherein, dito natin makikita ang mga subjects na naka-enroll sa atin. Okay, balik tayo sa upper left side ng inyong mga dashboards. Itong button na ito, ito naman is for full screen. Click natin siya. Kita natin, lumawak. So, paano natin siya maibabalik sa dati? I-click ulit natin yung button na ito. 
present, dito makikita yung mga courses na inopen niyo. Okay? So, let's move on to the right part of your dashboard, which is notification button. So, ayan. Gaya ng ibang platform, dito natin makikita lahat ng mga notifications natin. Messaging drawer. Ito naman ang ikiklik kung may mga i-message tayo. Dito din magno-notify kung may mga nag-message sa atin. Okay, next. Itong student 1, sa aking cursor, ito ang sample ng name na nasa profile. Kaya kung ano yung inilagay nating name, yun yung mag a appear dito. Lastly, profile button. Once we click it, ayan, marami pang mga nakatagong features dito. So ayan, kita natin, may dashboard ulit. Dito naman sa profile na ito, dito din pwedeng i-edit ang ating mga profiles like yung name natin and password. So, click natin yan. So, makikita nyo dito, edit profile. Okay, next. Ito namang grades. Dito natin makikita yung grades ng mga activity na na-comply ninyo. Again, may messages ulit. Preferences and logout. So, lahat ng mga ito ay under profile So, I hope nakatulong ako para maging familiar kayo sa ating dashboards. Basta keep on exploring. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. God bless you all. Good day, dear pupils and students. I am Teacher Jassy and I'm gonna share with you on how to access the courses and on how to answer the activities on your dashboard. Let's discuss first on how to access the courses. When we say courses, yan ang mga subjects na naka-enroll sa dashboard nyo. Every courses has a label. Right here, science for grade 1. English 3. Recently access course. These are the subjects you recently used. Course Overview, ito naman ang mga subjects na naka-enroll sa dashboard nyo for full school year or full semester. Let's now view the signs for grade 1. Once you click the subject, this will be the interface. And here in the general box where you can see the announcements like the upcoming activities, programs, and events. Lahat po ng ating mga subjects ay mayroong general box. And for us to easily access the courses, four quarters was divided into four boxes. Let's now proceed on how to answer the activity. Okay, do not forget to read the instruction. Identify the picture if it shows push or pull. Is it push or pull? Type your answer. Do not forget to click the check button. You can click enter or click it using your mouse. On the right side of your screen, you can see the show results where you can see the score. You can use retry button if you are not satisfied in your score. Teacher, what if the activity is not working? Pupils and students, first, check your internet connection and refresh the page. Kung hindi pa rin gumagana, report it to your subject teacher. And that's all for our quick tour on how to view our courses and answer the activity. Thank you! Good day, dear.
dear students of National Christian Life College and Maranatha Christian Academy. I am Teacher Reg Bermudez from Marikina Chapter, and today I'm going to teach you how to download and upload your assignment on your NMLZ account. So now, nandito na po tayo sa atin pong dashboard. Ayan. So, kung makikita natin, nandito po ang atin pong assignment file dito po sa announcement board. But normally, ilalagay po yan ni teacher kung anong quarter na po tayo at kung saang lesson. But today, for this webinar, nilagay po natin ito sa announcement board para mas mabilis po natin ma-access. Okay? So, i-click lang po natin ang assignment. Then, makikita na po natin. Ayan. So, makikita po natin dito yung open Ibig sabihin, ito po yung date kung kailan po ma-open or magiging available yung assignment na ginawa ni teacher. Next is due date, kung kailan naman po ito matatapos. So, ang due date na nilagay po ni teacher is August 28, 2021, 5pm. Okay. So, dito po makikita natin ang submission status. So, nakalagay dito is no attempt dahil di pa po tayo nakakapag-submit. Next is the grading status dahil hindi pa po ito nag-grade ni teacher. Then, time remaining kung ilang oras at kung ilang araw na lang bago ang deadline. Okay? So, ngayon, i-download na po natin ang atin pong um, file na in-upload ni teacher. So, dito, pwede po, itong mag, um, pwede po itong hindi lang document file. Pwede po itong video. Pwede po itong um, image. So, depende po yan kay teacher. But today, ang i-download po natin is document. So, we're just going to click it. Yan. So, na-download na po yan. Then, you can now access your assignment. You can now answer it. Kung ano man ang gustong ipagawa ni teacher, pwede na po natin gawin. Then, kapag isasubmit naman po natin, dear student, we will just click this button, add submission. Dito po sa lower part ng atin pong Animal Z. So, click or add submission. Then, lalabas po ito. Ayan. So, makikita po natin dito, meron po siyang online text. So, pwede po natin itong gamitin kung sinabi ni teacher. For example, pwede po natin directly na itatype dito ang atin pong mga sagot. Pwede po yan. Pero kapag po kailangan po natin i-download ang ating mga file at kailangan po natin i-submit ulit sa atin pong NMLZ account, dito po yan sa lower part. Ayan. So, file submission ang nakalagay. So, makikita po natin dito, and this is the important um, thing that we should remember dito po sa atin pong document file. So, dito po sa atin pong um, setting na nilagay ni teacher, ang required lang po na document na kailangan po natin i-upload is PDF. So, kapag mag-a-upload po tayo ng ibang file, hindi po yan tatanggapin ng ating system. Pero kapag nakalagay po dyan is document file is all, Ibig sabihin, kahit ano pong um, file, pwede po natin i-upload. Whether it's video, whether it's image, or Excel file, pwede, pwede po yan. And also, nakikita po natin dito sa may upper part, yan, kung um, gano'ng kalaki or ma ang maximum file size na pwede po natin i-upload. So, nakalagay po dyan is 100 MB. Then, the maximum number of file is 1. Pero pwede po yan... Baguhin ni teacher, pwede niya po yan gawing 5, pwede niya po yan gawing 20, depende po sa um, sa preference niya. Okay? So, para po makapag-download po o makapag-submit po tayo ng ating file, we will just drag the file. Pero ngayon, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano po siya i-upload manually. Yan, add, then choose file. Okay? Send. Then, pupunta na po siya dito. Yan, click lang po natin yan kung ano po yung file na atin pong i-upload. Then, upload this file. That's it. Save changes na po ang ilalagay na po natin. Make it sure, dear students, na ang submission status po natin ay, na, ang, ay nakalagay submitted for grading. Kasi po, pwede po yan uh, mag-appear as submitted as draft. So, kapag po submitted as draft, meaning to say, di pa po siya totally submitted sa atin pong teacher. So, kapag ganun po ang status na lumabas, meron po yan sa lower part, dito po sa bandang baba, na submit na nakalagay. So, ikiklik lang po natin yon Then, magiging submitted for grading na po ang 
status. Ayan. So, that's it. Ganyan po ang pag-upload at pag-download po ng file sa ating pong NMLV account. Ever naman, dear students, na kayo ay maka-encounter ng ibang ng mga problema. For example, you can't download the file and also you can't upload the file on our dashboard. Maybe because of your internet connection. Ayan, minsan kasi nagka masyadong mahina ang atin pong connection. That's why um, we can't download and upload the file. And also, kapag tayo ay um, hindi rin natin ma-download ang file from our NMLZ account or on our dashboard, maybe because of our device. Diba? For example, ang pinapa-download po ni teacher is video. Tapos, ang gamit nyo pong device is smartphone lang. So, mahihirapan po talaga tayo na uh, ma-download ang file na yun. Magkakaroon po talaga tayo ng problem. And also, um, pag ganun po ang nangyari, tsaka lang po natin yan sasabihin sa atin po teacher. And for example po, hindi naman po tayo makapag-upload ng file sa atin po assignment or sa atin po NMLZ account. Baka po iba yung format na nire-require ni teacher. For example po, gaya po dun sa atin pong, sa akin pong pinakita sa inyo, ang required file is PDF. Then nag upload po tayo ng document or ng Word doc. So hindi po siya po pwede. Okay? At isa po yun sa mga reason kung bakit po hindi po tayo nakakapag-upload ng file sa atin pong dashboard. Next, pwede rin po yung file size, di ba? For, kunyari sobrang laki ng atin pong Uh, ina-upload sa atin pong NMLZ account, hindi rin po siya tatanggapin ng ating system. So, um, kailangan po na ito double check po natin lahat bago po natin isubmit ang ating pong assignment sa atin pong NMLZ account. That's it, dear students. Ganun lang po kadali ang magpasa at mag-download ng ating pong mga files sa atin pong dashboard. And I hope that this webinar can really help you a lot to access your NMLZ account for this school year. That's all. Thank you and God bless. Hi, dear students of National Christian Life College and Maranata Christian Academy School System. I am Teacher Levy, and I'm here to share one of important components of NMLC, and that is messaging. What is messaging? It is sending and processing of messages by email, text, and similar electronic means. And messaging is one of the most important components because it is your direct way to communicate with your teachers as well as your classmates. So let's begin. On the upper right part of your dashboards, you can see the toggle message drawer. Once we click it, makikita ninyo yung search bar. We're in dito yung shortcut way para i-search ang gusto ninyong i-message, pero dapat nasa contact list ninyo sila. Or you can also use the search bar para mag-search ng message. Makikita din natin ang setting. Once we click it, dito lahat ng mga restrictions na pwede natin gawin sa messaging. Next, we also have here contacts. Once na kinlik natin siya, meron ditong contacts and request. Dito sa contacts, makikita natin lahat ng mga contacts na inad natin. Dito naman sa request, dito natin makikita lahat ng mga nag-add sa atin para ilagay tayo sa ating contacts. Next, let's move on to the drawer, uh, message drawer. As you can see, nakakategorize siya into three. Meron tayong starred message, group message, and private message. So let's have first the start message. Start messages feature allow you to bookmark specific messages so you can quickly refer back to them later. So kapag sinabi nating start message, ito yung mga bookmark message, we're in from private message, pwede natin silang i-transfer here. Maybe itong start message, ito yung mga important message na hindi na, na kailangan natin laging makita Ayan, so paano siya nakategorize as a start message? Once na kinlik natin yung message, may makikita tayo na star. Ayan, kaya siya nandyan sa start message. But we can also unstart the conversation or delete the conversation. So again, start message, ito yung mga bookmark messages natin. Next, 
we also have here group message. Sa group message, teachers lang ang may capability na gumawa ng group dito sa LMS natin. Ang mga students, maghihintay lang sa kanilang mga teachers para doon sa group na ginawa ng teacher. Para saan po ang group message? Dito usually, nag-check ng attendance ang mga teachers every asynchronous activity. And dito din, magbibigay ng announcement ang mga teachers. So, para hindi na isa-isahin pa ni teacher ang pagbibigay ng message, kaya meron tayong tinatawag na group message. Next is the private message. Private message or personal message or direct message is a private communication na kung saan lahat ng mga messages na isinisend sa inyo, dito nyo muna unang-unang mare-receive sa private message. Lahat ng mga PM, yan, dito natin mare-receive sa private message. So, gaya ng sabi ko sa inyo kanina, it's up to us kung halimbawa may important message tayong na-receive, pwede natin siyang i-add sa ating start message. Ayan, so if ever kids na maka-encounter kayo ng mga problems, like hindi nyo makita yung group message, or hindi kayo makapag-send ng message, or hindi kayo makareceive ng message, syempre unang-una i-check muna natin yung internet connection. Baka mamaya hindi pala kayo nakakonect. Or it's either mahina yung internet connection ninyo. So re refresh nyo lang lagi yung dashboards ninyo para makita ninyo yung mga messages. Okay? Don't worry kids, if ever na may mga problems kayo, feel free to contact your advisor and your teachers to help you with your problem. And we're always here for you. So again, thank you so much for listening. Enjoy the rest of the day. Happy learning. May the Lord bless you all.